Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Adrian Williams. I'm over here um, at the Waller Street Ledges in San Francisco and I'm hoping to give you guys some helpful tips on a trick. So today we're going to give you a few tips on the nose grind 180. Really fun trick. Um, it's cool. It's a cool segue to any other tricks you want to do when you want to connect the dots in a line. Um, it feels really good, you know, just to kind of twist your body out of a nose grind. The basics you want to know before trying the nose grind 180, front side nose grind 180, uh, you want to definitely have your ollies down, you know. You want to be able to ollie up onto the obstacle, whatever, whatever size obstacle you're going to try the nose grind 180 on. Nose manuals, nose grinds, and reverts out of nose manuals are definitely good to have nice and down before you want to attempt the uh, front side nose grind 180 out. Foot placement for the nose grind 180. I will always have my back foot way back on the tail as for almost any trick you're going to pop. And your front foot up by, right behind the front bolts just so it doesn't have to travel so far to get on the front end of the board. Alright, so when approaching the ledge, uh, you want to be going parallel with just a slight bit of angle. And you want to jump onto that nose grind, holding it straight, your upper body and your lower body. And once you get to the middle point of your grind, you want to start turning your upper body, not your lower body, only your torso. And then once you get to the end of the ledge, you want to bring your lower body right up to where your upper body is. So you want to start upper body, I get to the end of the ledge, then I bring my lower body around. Once you um, start turning your legs out of there, you just want to land square, weight, you know, evenly proportioned above the board, and um, you're, nice, you're nice and you're feeling good that you landed a new trick, or you're on your way to your next trick to end off your line. Some other common things that can happen with the nose grind 180 is you just overshoot the grind and you don't actually get into the nose grind with your wheel nice and pressed up against the curb. You overshoot it, your board goes wild. I hope you, um, you guys got what it takes to do a nose grind 180. You know, I hope I helped you out with these few little tips. Um, it's a really fun trick, you know. It feels, it feels great. It really does. You know, it's, it's a nose grind with the 180. But it feels tight, let me tell you.